on low profile, the huge front one piece screen here. And this is what really makes the sport yacht stand out from the rest of the range. As we walk back down this side deck, everywhere you look, everywhere you touch, the detailing is just fantastic. There's a single piece molding here that runs all the way along the foredeck, up over the coach roof and right aft to the aft end of the superstructure. Single piece in black, it looks amazing. Detailing is everywhere. The inbuilt cup holders into the upholstery, the way the upholstery joins and stripes here is just fantastic. Coming back, practical touches, lockers both side, even a wireless phone charger there in the center when you're sat entertaining on the forward deck. The rails as you come down are a great height. The midpoint rail is solid stainless, not a wire running through. So again, making you feel very secure. And as I walk back down, look at the height of this glass. We're on the side deck here and gives you a real idea of how much glazing is in this superstructure and how much light that will really feed in to the inside space. So coming back down, detailing all the way, note the LED Lopo uh, nav lights here, so beautiful. The Sunseeker drain even on the deck is a work of art. And one thing we can show you hopefully in the pictures is there's LED lighting features all over this boat including on the superstructure here with the sport yacht name that is illuminated at night. Into the aft cockpit, just great space, detailing again everywhere. Just look at this hinge point here and how it blends into the rail that goes around the sunbather. And let's talk about that sunbather. Great space, two to three people, huge U-shaped seating with a table that can fold out for dining or just for sitting there and enjoying drinks. At the aft end, we have a garage that will accommodate a three and a half meter Williams jet rib. And then on the bathing platform, which of course is fully hydraulic, you can get a 450 kilo jet ski or a second tender. So depending how you're using the boat. All the controls, all full to hand, main battery switches, passerelle, garage, lighting, beautifully done and again look at this even the rope locker lid has a beautiful engraved stainless steel top to it but the key to this stern is from the key side which is going to be a lot of the view that clients will see and particularly in the med is the way that this teak runs aft in the cockpit and then rolls down the steps curved into the molding itself which is just a beautiful feature and makes the aft end view one of the most appealing features again of the 65 Sport Yacht. Coming in, we've got a staircase that takes you up to the Sport Yacht Bridge, which we'll go through in a second. And adjacent to this seating, you've actually got access down to the crew space, or it can be just a very large storage room. Easily accessed if it's in crew cabin mode, single berth, toilet sink, or in storage, you've got fantastic storage for everything you want for extended cruising. Let's just take a moment and look at the door itself. So when we come through from cockpit to the uh, main saloon, you've got a three, well, four panel door to be fair, that slides across to this central section here to enclose it the way a normal door would. So pulling the handle, slide across. This section then, after the galley, is on electric motors. So fold the little countertop back in, push the button, and up it comes and closes off the area completely. But when it's open like now, it's a seamless space. Absolutely beautiful for using the boat. Port side, when we come in, you've got a galley that's integrated beautifully. I mean, the galley itself, with the finishes, the wood, the stone, just really blends in with the interior and doesn't stand out as a, a, a galley workspace. Even the sockets are dropped into the top, uh, hidden away, and then great hidden catches on all the units um, for storage around this, this galley uh, space. Refrigeration is always key. So rather than squeezing it into the actual galley itself, Opposite, again, you've got a beautiful piece of furniture with inset stone, but what it does do 
is hideaway, great refrigeration for extended cruising. So carrying on forward, now you can see that expanse of glass that we could see when we walked down the side deck and look at the light it brings into this area. Just amazing. And then your eye comes to following through on the ceiling. Now we talked about lighting features that you can see all the way through the yacht as we go, but then look at the detailing with wood and lacquer inset and the shape and sort of detail that's gone into that. It's a real point of interest and really accentuates not only the length of this saloon, but also the width. And again, that feature lighting on each point. Great social seating here on the starboard side. Now there is an option that that can become another storage come bar unit. So that can be changed around. And then opposite, a massive seating. I mean, for four to six people quite happily. And if you're using it as casual, this table drops down and can actually slide away just for drinks. Uh, or again, if you wanted to dine, table comes up, it folds open and you actually do have an internal dining space if required. But with that cockpit and the sport fly, I don't think you'll be eating in here. You'll be using that beautiful cockpit. Uh, main helm. So again, a real step forward in design. Simplified down to these two Volvo Penta screens, which can give you engine information, navigation information, even all of the boat systems, including lighting, etc., is all controlled on these two touchscreens. As well as that, you've got our in-house CM8 system, which again gives you control over all the boat systems with uh, the touch sensitive pad here. Key controls, so anchors, window, horn and everything is here. So it is separated out onto lovely illuminated stainless steel buttons. And right in the center here, which is a real, like, almost like retro design, you have these two beautiful round instruments, which are multifunction displays. So you've got a nice jog switch here and you can scroll those displays through from speed, rudder angle, depth, etc. Just a really nice little touch. All the controls fall to hand. So from the helm seat, steering, controls, thruster, and of course, we, because it's, she's IPS, we've got the joystick control here. And let's just touch on that a second. So main engines, two options, is both IPS, either 1200s or 1350s. So we'll give her a top end speed with the smaller engines of around 32, 33 knots, with the larger 1350s, around 35, 36 knots. And with those IPS drives, the ability to carve and turn is just stunning. And obviously very easy to maneuver using the combination of engines with the joystick here. Drop window, again, nice feature when you're running inside. And even though she is a sport yacht and you have that outer helm, you'll notice above us here, we do have a lifting sunroof as well. So if you're driving inside, you don't feel enclosed. That one piece screen from here is just simply stunning. Double curvature, so it's curved this way and port to starboard. And the view out is just amazing. No obstructions at all. So it actually makes from this helm the visibility incredible, both forward and aft through those doors. So down below, we've got quite a good range of options. So in this, I suppose, more standard layout, we have three cabins. So we have a master cabin en suite aft, a VIP cabin en suite forward. We then have a twin cabin on the starboard side with its own en suite. And then incredibly, we actually have a day head as well. So that's three cabins, three en suites, and a day head on a 65 foot sport yacht. Just incredible space. But there's another added bonus. Right outside the master cabin, we've got another uh, uh, just huge amount of space. And on the standard version, it's kitted out as a utility room. So here we have extra refrigeration, as you can see underneath this bar unit, wine cooler, refrigerator here. And then on the center line, we actually have a washer dryer hidden away. But this space has four options. So we can either move the doorway to the master cabin to this point. 
So you have a much extended master cabin, maybe with a private vanity area or desk area. It can actually become a lounge, uh, you know, lounge space with a TV and a sofa area. Or we can actually make this into a fourth cabin. So with a bulkhead that runs through here and you'll have a fourth single bunk. So quite incredibly, you could end up with a four cabin, four head or four en suite um, setup. So incredible space, great headroom. And we'll come on now back actually into the master cabin. And again, what hits you is that detailing that we saw on the top deck runs all the way through the boat. I mean, look at the ceiling with the lacquer inserts, the LED lighting, the direction on all the panels. It's, it's just so intricate and beautiful. The bulkhead itself has now got this synonymous Sunseeker S running through, as we see on all the Predator models. Huge bed, king size bed, great storage either side, great detailing as well. Wireless chargers built into little leather trays on the side of the beds, which not expensive, but a great detail and just the thought that's gone in to how this boat will be used. Both sides of the cabin, you've got these huge, almost picture framed windows that let natural light flood in. Storage lockers, both sides, both port and starboard, which gives you great, you know, uh, clothing space, hangar space, wardrobe space for extended cruising. And then on the port side, we've got on this particular boat, a almost a breakfast setup with a small table here. Sit here with your coffee and breakfast in the morning, but this can be quite easily changed into a chaise long. It could be extra storage. So again, very flexible, depending on how the client will use the boat. And then forward on the starboard side, fantastic en suite, a real balance of stone and wood, great size separate shower cubicle. So it's a real liverboard sport yacht, which is quite incredible. And you think the primary purpose of this is having that stunning silhouette that we saw from the outside, but how much space, living accommodation, entertaining space you can get inside this boat. Let's go forward and we'll have a quick look at the VIP cabin. So again, Coming forward to that lobby, very nice, easy access, great height, great light, because this lobby is right underneath the windscreen, so you don't feel it enclosed at all. And we come forward into, again, a beautifully detailed cabin. And although we're right in the bow of the boat, look at the space. Headroom, great size bed, all the detailing st still with like the leather inset trays with the wireless charging, wardrobe space here, We've got a great small vanity unit tucked away. TV on the aft bulkhead facing into the cabin. And then obviously, as we came in on the port side, a great ensuite with separate shower. So really usable, fantastic space as a VIP. And then from the lobby again, starboard side into a twin cabin. Again, detailing, wireless charger, access forward into the ensuite. TV, I mean, it's the smallest cabin, but it's still a great size cabin. And what hits me the most is from that lobby, it's all flat floors. So normally in the smaller cabins, you're stepping down into it. In here, flat floor straight through, great windows still, great detailing. A really fantastic space to use. Now that's given you a good view of the interior. Now let's go and look at one of the key features of this boat, which is the sport bridge. Let's go on up. So the steps, Work of art with the stainless steel and the teak, great handholds, very, very easy to come on up. And before we get onto the bridge, look at this, talk about detailing, beautiful carbon fibre hatch and the stainless steel hardware on it here. You know, everything has been thought about on the detailing. Stainless steel inset with the Sunseeker name engraved in, again, beautifully done. And you come up onto what is a is almost hidden in the superstructure, but a great space. And if we start here at the helm, just look at these seats. I mean, you're gonna be sat in here in tune with the boat. It feels like you're fitting in a sports car. I mean, absolutely amazing. Everything falls to hand. You've got the multi-function displays again here. The 
Simrad or Garmin screen here, uh, VHF, phone holder, wireless charger, just what a position. You're gonna feel really connected with the boat. But let's not remember, you know, when you're using this boat as well, you might be maneuvering into the harbor. Most clients would want to be doing that from here. And this maybe wouldn't feel so natural. So by pushing this button and raising the helm up, you suddenly have a fantastic ability to have the view of the boat when docking and easy access to the IPS control here and the bow thruster if needed. It's just incredibly simple, but works amazingly well. And obviously with this as well, it helps you getting in and out of the seat. If you want to get in easily, push the button and then you pull the control back down. Very, very, very nice feature and I think really makes this boat stand out not only in the Sunseeker range but against this competition. Aft, beautiful sun pad, detailing everywhere, cup holders, done in two sections so either side can raise a headrest or if you want to face aft depending on where the sun is the same happens here so you can raise this end and have you know a view aft. <laughs> Incredibly, another wireless charger, lighting, features everywhere, even the little details on this screen, the way it integrates in, and then this small glass panel here. So you've even got the view down through when you're sat in the seat. Just stunning. I think that's the overall view of this. This is really going back to where we started with the sport yacht. A sports boat with a small helm come sunbathing station on the top that makes you feel integrated with the yacht when you're driving. It is like a sports car. You're absolutely connected to the boat and it's an amazing experience driving her. I hope you found this really useful and we hope to see you at one of the upcoming boat shows or just make contact with your local dealer. Thank you very much.